Well, hello, YouTubers. How are you today? You're looking wonderful, as always. Nice to see you. Out for a drive today, kind of taking in the uh, desert. See how things are greening up for the year. Of course, it's lovely to see that people are always nice enough to dump their garbage. But you know, not everybody can be awesome. Not as awesome as you, for sure. So the other day I was kind of pondering what to do for the next video. Decided that maybe a little battle axe would be cool. So I built it, of course. Found that, uh, not much practical use for it. Not super entertaining. Battle Beagle, she will destroy you. So I think what we're gonna wind up doing today is building like a tomahawk or something. Something that's dumb that we can get ourselves into trouble with. Okay, so we're gonna start off by taking this gear off of this window regulator. Salvage this out of an old car. The gear is a hardened steel to work really well for the leading edge of an axe. Just need to grind the heads off of the rivets that hold it in place and give it a couple whacks with a hammer and it comes right off. This thing's kinda gross. It's got some grease and uh, corrosion on it, so we wanna clean it up a little bit. Now we've got an old rusty pair of pruning shears, found these out in a trash pile in the desert. We're going to take them apart and use one of the blades as the rear blade for the axe. Here you can kind of get an idea as to what we're building. And again, we want to clean this shear blade up, it's covered in corrosion and some paint. Uh, when we go to weld, we want that stuff off of there. Now we're going to cut off the part of the shear blade that we want to use. We can use a cut off wheel on the die grinder, that would get a nice straight cut. Here I'm grinding a bevel on the back side of the gear. This will be helpful when we go to weld. This will uh, help the weld be a little stronger. And since I have the angle grinder out, I'm going to go ahead and put a bit of an edge on the front side of the gear uh, just to get it out of the way. Then we're going to do basically the same thing on the shear blade. Put a bevel on one side and start creating a cutting edge. This is a piece of one inch black pipe. I'm cutting the threaded ends off of it. This is what we're going to weld the cutting edges to to build the head of the axe. Now that we've got the threaded ends cut off of this, we're going to just clean it up a little to make sure there aren't any burrs on it. And then we're going to clean the paint off of it. Make sure that we can weld to it properly. Alright, we're ready to weld now. We're going to go ahead and tack the gear onto the front side of the pipe. Then we will tack the shear blade onto the back side so that it looks all cool and whatnot. So for this we're going to make the initial weld to hold everything together and then we're going to build up a large shoulder uh, by putting a layer of welds down. That way this thing is just really stout. Unfortunately layering the welds like that usually doesn't look too great so uh, we're going to grind this down a little bit and kind of smooth everything out. That looks a little better. Once we're done we're going to polish the whole thing so everything will look nice and shiny. At this point the head of the axe is pretty well complete and we want to start cutting a set of pins to help hold the axe handle in place. I'm cutting these out of some soft steel. You're going to want to use a soft steel, aluminum, or copper for this part of the project. These pins seem to be just slightly longer than the pipe is wide. Okay, now we're going to cut a piece of wood for the handle. This is a handle for a tamper. I picked it up at the local hardware store for a few dollars. Now that you've got your handle cut down to the proper length, just use a knife and a sander to shave the end of the handle it's going into the axe head down to the proper diameter. You want it to fit fairly snug. Excellent. A few light taps from a hammer will seat this right up. Hey, look at that. It looks kind of like an axe. At this point, we're ready to drill a couple of holes through the head of the axe so we have somewhere to put those pins that we cut earlier. You want the holes to be slightly larger than the pins. Uh, they should just kind of slide into place. Because I use a soft steel to make the pins, it's easy to take a hammer and just mushroom the ends of them. This will hold them in place really well. Uh, the advantage of using the pins like this is that if the handle breaks, you can drive them back out and replace the handle pretty easily. In the end, they should look about like this. Alright, we're getting pretty close to the end of the project here. All we really have left is to use the sander to put a final edge on the cutting blades and then to use a polishing wheel on the die grinder to kind of clean everything up, make it look shiny. And of course, whenever we build something like this, I feel compelled to say, don't throw it at your friends, or at anybody that you don't like for that matter. Uh, it'll definitely hurt somebody. 
That being said, the project's complete and now it's time to try to break something. Can't make a tomahawk and put up a YouTube video and not hit a melon. So I've got a melon sitting over there with the GoPro. Let's see if the GoPro lives through this. I hit it. Not enough. Good enough. Whoa. Like that. Just like to take a second to thank my friend Orion for donating this car for me to destroy. Uh, you'll probably see it in future videos as well. Thanks, so putting it to good use. This is a nice, easy project to build. The materials are readily available, and it doesn't take long to put it together. Probably not such a great project for the kids, um, but if you are so inclined, you can get some friends together and take turns throwing the axe, see who gets it to stick the most times. You can kind of make a game out of it and put a competitive edge to it. Uh, definitely want to shy away from the adult beverages if you're going to play a game like that, though. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please take a second to subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'm John Can. Remember, if I can build it, so can you.